It is said that he who wears the shoe knows where it pinches. Who else could tell the story of female genital mutilation than the woman who has gone through the process? 45-year-old Christy had her genital part cut by her mother at the early years of her life. She has three daughters and out of ignorance also subjected her first daughter to the same practice just to fulfill cultural demands. And the belief in my tradition then is that if a woman is not done, that she will be loosed. And they also believe that giving birth will be difficult. So it was done. Christy is not alone. Lola here shares her own experience. The reason behind it is patriarchy. As in the men want to control the sexuality of the women. Because why, why are you saying um, if you don't cut a woman, she'll be promiscuous? It doesn't make any sense. There is a belief in some quarters that the practice of female genital mutilation is to reduce a woman's libido. But does this really work? And what we found out around, we've asked, we've done the research, we've asked people that have, we've asked survivors, survivors have been there to speak to people that, no, that is not, it does not have any benefit. Especially as it's been done in some of the remote areas, villages, it's a terrible practice that we're actually hoping that um, government would develop proper policies towards a total, a to, not just, you know, preventing it, but stopping it. Although female genital mutilation has been in practice for more than a thousand years, but there are reasons to think that it could end in a single generation. That is why the United Nations strives for its full eradication by 2030. In the spirit of Sustainable Development Goal 5, Basi Taipan, NTA News.